Hi everyone, it's Megan Cox here, and today we will be exploring Google Keep. Keep is a collaborative tool used to store your quick notes and to-do list within your Google account. Let's begin with how to find your Google Keep account. So one quick way to access it is through the Google App Launcher, and you can simply scroll down and find Keep. Another way that I like to access it is by typing in keep.google.com. So once you get here, you are seeing my Google Keep dashboard. Um, I already have a few notes typed out that you can see. If I wanted to start a new note up here where it says take a note, I can simply click there, give it a title, and then begin typing my note. Um, if I prefer to have check boxes so that I can kind of mark things off, I can click the option right here and it will allow me to list items so that I can um, have them kind of separated. And you'll notice that as I type mine, I have several different options down here. So reminding, collaborating, color coding, adding images, archiving, which means taking away from your dashboard without fully delete, deleting, and then some advanced options, which we'll talk about. So looking at my notes here, you can already kind of see some differences. On my social studies to-do list, you can see I have a checklist. So once I complete an option, I can check it off. It nicely moves it down to the bottom and strikes through it so I can see that I have completed it, um, which I appreciate so that I know that it was added to my list and completed. You can also see that I've color coded um, some of my different notes. So if you wanna you know, kind of color code each subject or each category, it's a great way to make notes pop out to you. This particular note has a reminder added to it, which is really nice. Reminders will allow you to set an actual time and date that it will pop up in um, your Google browser, no matter what website you're on in the bottom left, just kind of standing out to you saying, hey, um, you set a reminder for this note at this time and date. So that's a great feature and um, you can turn any note into a reminder with this option. You can also kind of sort your reminders just by clicking on this guy and seeing which notes all have reminders on them at any time. Another thing that I find super helpful are in the advanced features, you can actually um, add labels, drawings, and you can copy things to a Google Doc. So let's talk about these. Labels are a quick way for you to categorize your notes. So here I have um, labeled both of these categories to planning. If I wanted to go in to add a label, I can click on that. And if I choose one of my um, labels I already have, I can code it. Or if not, I can type a new one in. So you have both choices. But you will see to my left all of my labels. So if I just wanted to look at all of my to-do lists that were planning related, I can click that and it'll kind of sort it for me, which I think is a great feature. You can also move things around to prioritize them. Or if you want to make something really important in the right hand corner, you can click on this pin note and it will kind of separate it and keep it towards the top. Another great ability is as you are um, taking notes, if you want to add drawings, you can, but you can also add images. So clicking on this guy right here will let me find any images um, I would like to attach, and it will embed it in my notes. So if you take an image of something you were doing, um, or even want to kind of color code your notes by different images as reminders, you can add that here. Finally, one of my favorite features is the ability to collaborate. So if you click on this guy, you can share it with another um, email address and this person can not only contribute and add notes along with you in real time, just like any other Google format, they can also mark it off. So if it is a team task, um, you can collaborate on notes in real time. And last, you can actually search for keywords. So I just typed in data and it searched all my notes and highlighted any time I've, I've typed that word. So once your dashboard gets full of notes, you can actually still search for um, keywords within them. Thank you for checking out this tutorial on Google Keep.
Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in our description.